We're really playing a video game made by spiders. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that wonderful? Ain't it, ain't it, ain't it great? Listen to this shit. I just wanna, I just wanna respect the Bound by Flame opening screen because it will be unlikely that anybody will ever play this game again. That skeleton has no nose, very sad. But don't all skeleton, what would a skeleton with a nose look like? He looked like he'd be wearing the disguise glasses with the big nose. What is it, the Groucho Marx glasses? Did you know they hit random people in the balls to get the screams for this song? Did you know they hit you in, they, they actually hit you in the balls when you buy a copy of this game? Now this game is badass. Honestly though, this opening, this like main menu theme is kind of sick. I do like it, I vibe with it. It's a good main menu. I, I, I can't talk about the rest of the game being good, but this definitely is a main menu that'll tell you, hey, your ass is gonna get bout by flame. Can we get an on-screen ETA until you fall in love with this game on Ironically Timer, Brendan? It's not gonna fucking happen, there ain't no way. Playing lady. Name. I can choose my name? Chumbo. You get a full character customization. That shit wild. Can you believe this spiders made this video game? Let's go with that. I can't make the Joker, but I can choose a face. Can't wait for the next Brendan main channel video, why Bound by Flame is an underrated masterpiece, three hours long. That shit ain't gonna happen. Why Bound by Flame is a video game made by spiders. How many people, how many spiders worked on this game? A ton of spiders worked on this game. This game actually had the most amount of spiders to ever work on a video game. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. <laughs> this is so fucking sad, I can't drink. We got quips, my character can't drink. I gotta kill the dead walkers, the ice lord. Oh my god, I just realized the game is fucking cell shading. I didn't even I didn't even recognize that. What in the goddamn? I better warn the others. Why does it have like light cell shading effect over everything? Ew. Aw oh, dude, Borderland but with a sword. Oh my god, Sorderlands. I looked at the IMDB for this game and the voice credits are completely fucked. There's only two actors that have their characters listed. I'm gonna be real with you, even though this came out on PS4 and Xbox One, I'm genuinely surprised that it's working fine on modern hardware with no issues. Like, this was definitely still in an era where video games could release uh, as a pile of shit. And I mean, video games still release as piles of shit, but I mean like, PC port completely fucked and unplayable. Oh shit, how do I hit? Uh, RT to parry attacks. Okay, so it is action. I thought it was turn-based for some reason. When oh, I can charge an area attack. Get that dead walker. Look at that movement. Yeah, dead walker defeated. All right, more dead walkers coming in. Don't you worry. I'm here to kill and I'm here to thrill. Ah, I can break guard with B, got it. What if I just kick it? Can I push him off? Kick, 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 kick. My mighty boot will stomp out this undead freak. Using the power of my incredible boot, I will destroy the creature. Oh shit, more guys. So many dead walkers from the ice lords. I think, oh, what is this? Oh, I have lock, finally. Thank you for telling me about lock on. That's so cool. Oh my fucking god. Who in the goddamn? That ain't no skeleton. That an advanced skeleton. Where you get a head that big? Dad, when you steal one of his fucking root beers? You drink my mug. He's coming in. Pep Pep fucking upset. You drank his barks, you drank his mug. No root beer left for him. Big boy sad, big boy angry. You drink the whole damn barrel. We got, yeah, mug thug. We gotta deal with the mug thug. The barks root beer demon. Did you know that you can infl inflict more damage on your enemy when you're in stealth mode? Oh uh, yeah, dual daggers, babe. As God is my witness, I will fucking rip you asunder. I want that fucking loot. Listen, I know I gotta go save my friends, but I gotta get that fat loot in those fat levels. Yeah, that's right. I just got an esteem achievement for vanquishing 25 enemies. Oh my god. I've only been playing the game for what, like 30 minutes? But it feels like years. I'm so bound. I'm so flame. What if there was a show in the 50s called Leave It to Cleaver instead of Leave It to Beaver? And it was just 25 minutes of uninterrupted chopping. Would you watch it? Chopping meat. Chopping feet. Chopping vegetables that don't replete. I don't know what priority is what but I should also check with that boy that I walked past earlier because he might have something to say and I wasn't paying attention. Is that buffalo? Did you know that buffalo, 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 buffalo is a sentence? That's crazy. That shit fucked up. Buffalo. You got a feet point still? Damn. Yeah, my feet are percolating. One more feet. One more feet. One more feet. 
too many toes in this game. You so right, though. Uh, can't do that one yet. That's the more experienced one. I don't care about additional weight. I kind of like the exploration points. Um, Crombat. Can't take any... I don't think I can take any Crombat yet. And crafting. I'll just do the... Healing is more effective. That's probably good. Me when I drink a potion, but I drink it in such a way that I heal more health. Uh, remember, pinky out. How about you spec his eyes? You want me to fucking be the specter detector? You want me to go ghost like Danny Phantom flowing through the walls? God, I wish that was me. If I had ghost powers, I would just do what I would do when I say I have any kind of powers. I would just rob a bank. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. Any kind of superpower discussion is always like, oh, Brandon, what would you do if you got super strength? Rob a bank. Brandon, what would you do if you gained the power of flight? Rob a bank. Brandon, what if you could teleport? I'd rob a bank. They're insured. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to take people's personal items out of the safety deposit box, but I will take a big bundle of cash out of there. That's just my go-to answer. Like, uh, this is why I can't be trusted with ultimate power. Because I know the first thing I would do is like, I'm going to rob a bank. What are they going to do? Stop me? And I, that's why I'm human. I'm real for that. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I create my own custom superhero name. And my own superpower. Like identity. It's going to be so fucking epic. No, no, no. I'd rob a bank. I'm a simple guy. Brandon, what if you were Aquaman? You can't rob a bank like that. Okay. Uh, I would go to different oil derricks out there in the ocean. Different oil rigs. And I'd rob them. Not like any of the people that work on them. But I'd rob any of the, uh, any of the guys working uh, in like the offices on the rig. If they have any safes on there, they're fucked. Also, I'd still rob. If I had Aquaman's powers, I would just find sunken treasure. It would be even better robbing, because I'm just robbing from ghosts. Free oil to drink. Free crude oil for me. Fish would want to talk to me, and I wouldn't give a fuck. A whale come up to me and be like, Oh, you need to help me. And I'd be like, My ass is going to be in Iowa still. What are they going to do if I'm Aqueous, man? Is that the bulging bulbous boy? Holy shit, he, his tummy feel crazy. He be gulping sea monkeys by the gallon. Nah, I'm not gonna do any hostage things. I wouldn't hold the ri like the oil rings hostage. That'd be fucked up. What I would do instead is I would just, I would just, I would just rob him. Here's the thing is like with superpowers, there's one of two options in my head. Rob like institutions that can handle it because they're insured or bomb or a uh, freak show. I just do freak show shit. Holy shit, big hand. He trying to gripper me? First he rip, then he grip? That crazy. Get the fuck out of here. Very intense gameplay. I am feeling very intensely intensular. I'm already level five. What the fuck, dude? Is that supposed to be that way it do? New level. Alright, new level acquired. Let's put that into uh I don't know, more attack with my heavy weapon. Kind of figuring out the parry system pretty easily in this game, so I think I'm gonna rip and roar through it. Uh I have one more skill point though. Let's snee. Charging time for assault. Let's just put it into Vitality. We shrimple. Ah, there we go. Now I can take sh Swashbuckler. Swash. And I can take Tough if I want to. I'm going to save it and just get... Uh, No, 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 no. Let me see. Kill 60 enemies. Cost 3 points. I'm going to save that feat point for now. We'll hold on to that, son of a bitch. Uh, what was I supposed to do here? Go along this way. Okay, yeah. So, 2 on the map is secondary objective. 1 on the map is primary objective. I get that. Superpower Brendan trying to rob a bank, but it's just him getting real miffed Mystery Men style. Why would I get real miffed Mystery Men style? I'd be able to rob a bank. I figured it out. Poison skeletons! I mean, when I have a little Taco Bell, get it? Taco Bell joke. You sick of those yet? Are those... Oh, uh, they got spider legs? Oh, no, they just walking funny. Where were you when I was fighting the big horde of funny walking skeleton? Why they walk like that? They, why do they all walk like they gotta take a shit? Spooky, scary skeletons. They'll shake and shudder in surprise. Oh, big bulbous man again. Well, I do this. Mir. Fell for it. You fell for it. What is this? Switch to stealth? Okay, so those are just swappies. Oh, God, they just break guard like that. Jeesh. They'll just break my fucking guard. Kick him. Not jiggly enough, I am owned. Need more belly wobble. Why his belly be wobbling? But it's not wobbling enough, if you know what I mean. Got him. Got him. Okay, so you can just time those, like, perfectly and be done with that shit. Ripping through this game. Me when I'm bound by flame. Stop. His ass wobbles, too. The wobble budget was allocated all over. Oh, I, I, I only saw the belly. Nice, juicy enemies for a porbulent boy to kill. More like bound by lame. Bound by Flame makes Lies of P look like Lies of, um, uh, D- Yeah, I don't know. 
this game's pretty cool and all, but like, it's definitely no uh, Lords of the Fallen original. I'm just getting so thrown off by the uh, the cell shading and everything. I didn't think this game had like full cell shading. Yeah, this game's cool and all, but it's no bound by Crane. Have you played that yet? Have you gotten through the Laugh Factory boss yet? Yeah, they be summoning something from the seventh realm. Oh no, Skellington. These guys suck at this fucking ritual. They're shit at it. The Hobblers? Oh my god, are the big guys called Gobblers then? Please. Please, God, let the big guys be called the Gobblers. The Dead Walkers got the Gobblers, they got the Hobblers, and they got the Wobblers. I'm fine. Worry about those Dead Walkers. Recorded on my Samsung Galaxy 7. Don't worry, I kill a Dead Walker. Don't you worry. I'm kicking the air. I will protect the scribes. That's what I'm here to do. I love slopping up with my big fat sword. Oh no, the catalyzer shouldn't do that. Oh, am I about to get bound by a flame of some sort? I believe I'm about to get bound by a flame of some sort. There it is. Where's the title card? Throw that shit up there. Show me that title card. Show my ass being bound by flame. Oh, the demon in me. This game needs a uh, fuck. This game needs corn or like a uh, new metal so fucking bad. Suddenly it changes. Violently it changes. Oh my god, he's slapping me around. Here it is, the big boy moment. Are you ready? Freak on a leash or down with the sickness? Freak on a leash. Boom, knock the boom, knock the dibba dabba boom, knock the boom, knock the boom, knock the boom, knock the dibba dabba da boom, knock the boom. Feeling like a freak on a leash. I shall not let thy weakness be our downfall. <laughs> Is that the demon's voice? Oh my god, bless him. Bless him, bless him, bless him. I shall not let that thing be the weakness of our downfall. Demon be fucking slapping it out there. Holy shit. Damn, how strong does demon make me? Uh, the strange power has filled you. Yeah, you can now use the powers of the flame. Use orb of fire. Hit him in the leggy. Breaky leg. Breaky leg. Breaky leg like egg. Get him in the cankles. Get him in the ankles. Eat all his tendons. Oh my god, I'm getting my butt kicked. I gotta use my potion. Hey there. Hi. Still got hand. Still got hand to kill. Hi. Sweeped. Oh my god, you just got flamed. Brennan, you've been filled with a strange power, in fact. Uh, oh yeah, if rules of nature hit, this would be real fucking sweet. <laughs> Suddenly it changes. Violently it changes. Why did the sword light on fire when you got possessed by a demon? Did the sword also get possessed? No, no, it's all about fire magic. I, I'm burning. Too hot. Hot darn. I think Creed belongs in this soundtrack. What's it? What's a Creed song? Fuck. I was thinking of a- I was thinking of not a Creed song when you said Creed, Julia. I was thinking of fucking, um... Ah, uh, God, Dave Grohl's band. With arms wide open. Underneath the sun rain. Welcome to this place and show you everything. Yeah, I was thinking of Food Fighters. I don't know why I was thinking of Food Fighters. Did anybody see what I just did to that huge fuck? <laughs> Did anybody see what I did to that huge fucking monster? I fried that thing. Oh my god. The potential. I fucking fried that thing. I got crazy powers and I'm freaking out. I respect the dialogue. Look at this dude. I respect this dude. I thought voodoo by Godsmack when you said Creed. Fucking, I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the snake bite enter my veins. Never did I want to be here again. And I don't remember why I came. Yeah, underrated gem bound by flame. Before setting forth on an adventure, remember to gather companions. Your allies can give you advice and especially fight by... And it's gone. Was this in my mind? At the demon? Yeah. What the? <laughs> but if I did Buffalo get into my mind palace, what? <laughs> hey, Vulcan, enough of your shit. It's me, Buffalo, the Dreamwalker, and your friend. Uh, what's this crazy thing? I know he's like waking my character up, but it seemed like he had joined into my mind palace. He'd knocked on the door and fucking broke it in. 
Hey, wake the fuck up. Hey, Vulcan, pull my finger. Huh? I'm in your brain, Vulcan. I'm in your brain. It it's me, your friend Buffalo. Fucking Buffalo sweep. I fucking love Buffalo. I'm already, uh, hey, I'm just gonna say this, huge Buffalo fan. I own all the Buffalo merchandise. The strongest entities, the demon that can counter the power of necromancers and Buffalo. He's just the strongest guy. <sighs> Get buffaloed, idiot. Who the freak is Relmar? Fucking, are we going Relmar mode? Oh, he elfing. Oh, got it. I just came out of my tree village. Don't come this way. This is my bog town. That's an elf? That's the fucking most methed up gas station elf I've ever seen, yeah? That- this is the elf that eats the gorilla pills every day. This elf on some fucking crazy whack shit. This might be, um, might be one of the scuzziest elves I've ever seen, actually. This is the elf that be buying, like, the, uh, the glass roses at the gas station and saying, uh, no, the, for decorative purposes. I am Relmar. What the fuck, Relmar? They call me the captain. <laughs> I I love him saying that with the same energy as a guy at the bar who's really trying to get his new nickname over. Hey, you want to hand me a drink? They call me the captain. No, Jason, your name isn't captain. No, all my friends call me captain. You gotta call me captain. Everybody in my WoW guild calls me captain. You also have to refer to me by my name, captain. Like, Captain's not getting over, Jason. I'm sorry. This is so... And I said gas station earlier, but this game is incredibly gas station core. I feel like I have a perfect word for this kind of slop. This is the vibe of going to a gas station at 2 a.m. I don't know how it... I don't, I don't know how it, like, captures it. But it really does capture gas station 2 a.m. vibes. Remember, this game came out in 2014 for the PS4 and, and Xbox One and PS3 and 360. Not a lie. Uh, Bound by Flame was one of those multi-console releases. It was really, it was really interesting to see, like, the first two years of PS4 and Xbox One, uh, because there were no games. Like, none. There was, like, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, fucking The Order 1886, Rise Son of Rome. Like, we are, we are a couple of years now into the PS5 and Series X launches, and launch games have been a little bit better this time around. Uh, interesting Venom, huh? Come along with me then, Sybil. I wanna hang out with Sybil. I don't care about Relmar. She got poison. The fucking Order. Remember how the Order 1886 has two boss fights and they're the exact same boss fight in different areas? At some point, we're gonna play it on stream. I promise. I gotta pick it up on PS4, but at some point, we are gonna play the Order 1886. You know me. I love my fucking trash games. You've unlocked the Pyromancer skill tree. I'm not gonna utilize that very much, am I? Oh my god, spiders! Oh no, those aren't spiders. Those are hives. Show Sybil the local fauna. Sybil's gonna fucking die. Does she get back up or is she like perma dead? Oh no, she's up. Okay. Sybil fucking blows. Sybil sucks at this shit. I'm dead. Fuck. I need her health. Oh god. These guys fucking blow. I hate these dudes. These guys are harder than skeletons. Spiders really know they bugs, don't they? That's the bit, isn't it? Spiders know they bug. Can I pick that up? Oh no, I gotta wait until the fight's over. Got it. Man, maybe I should have taken Realmar. Sybil fucking blows. Maybe daggers? Maybe daggers is the bit? Okay, now I can pick up their stuff. Good. Maybe I should make some more crossbow bolts. Some more ranged weapons. Oh, Sybil can heal. That's so nice. And I got another fat level. Awesome. Hey, Brandon, I know you're doing audio stuff lately, so I figure you want to know that on the mobile, the game audio is a bit low. Could go up just to hear. Putting the iPhone up to where you got too loud. The game was still a little on the hard side to hear. Might just be me. Oh, for game audio? Oh, I don't... I don't... Like... It, it's it's at the level where I think it should be. Um, this is better than where it was. I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm not fucking with it anymore. Louder! I'm not doing I'm not fucking with it anymore. I don't want to fuck with it anymore. We're done. Louder, Brendan. Louder. Need the game audio louder, Brendan. The game is too quiet, Brendan. How am I ever going to be bound by flame, Brendan, if it's just too quiet, Brendan? I'm trying to fight Airbug here. The sequel to Air Bud. There we go. God, what if you were watching Air Bud and the dog opened up and spewed thousands of spiders? And then those spiders played basketball better than the Air Buddies? Man, shut up. But what if Air Bud fought like a giant spider? Would that be sick? Listen, I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. This is a terrible thought. Listen, I'm just putting it out there, but what if the Air Buddies had to avenge, like, Air Bud because spiders ate them? Man, I'd watch a different movie. Yeah, but what if it was revealed that it was, like, at the entire time it was just a silly trick and Air Bud was fine? And then, uh, I don't know, Sylvester Stallone from Spy Kids 3D popped up and he said, Hey, 
It was me. I did this. And then Air Bud become the guy. The second Air Buddies film, Snow Buddy, says the highest animal kill count in cinema history. Insane to me that there is an Air Buddy whose entire personality is just they fart. That kind of wild, honestly. I don't When was the last Air Buddies movie? Was a couple of years ago, right? I don't think they made a new one in a while. Like, they're not going to do, like, the Air Buddies go to Congress. Right? Didn't they explore, like, pretty much everything they could with the Air Buddies? I, I, feel, like they, I feel like they did everything they could. I don't think you can do any more with them. They got possessed by demons in the Air Buddies Bound by Flame. Hurry, Air Buddies. You have to do what you have to do. You have to defeat your enemies. Can I fire this? Ah, oh, it does massive damage. Got it. What's in here? What's inside this tree? Ah, tree meat. Yummy. I love finding delicious tree meat out here. Okay, what is this? Extra? Oh, wait, no. How do I get to... How do I get to there? Why does the map tell me there's a thing down there, but I can't... Oh, I have to climb down. Got it. Fire. Walk with me. This is the water. This is the well. Drink, fall, and descend. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Holy shit. God damn it, Bound by Flame. Oh, wait, fine. It restores here. These guys fucking scary. I gotta be like... I gotta be playing it safer. I'm not playing it safe, like, at all here. Oh, my God. From everywhere, man. Oh, they got, like, a fucking... They got a little guy right here. Oh, my fucking God. I wonder why this game wasn't more well-known. You know? I'm starting to think that this game might be a bad game. It might be a wild thing to say, but I'm starting to believe that this game might be suck. God, why do I do so little damage to these guys? I hate these guys. I hate these dudes. Oh my god. Bound by Flame is cinema. You take that back, Brandon. Bound by Flame kind of stinky. Kill the fucking orb that shoots the hell. And dead again. Shit. Yeah, this has got to be an eight hour stream just to be sure, Brandon. Uh, no. I'm just binding. I'm binding the flames. I'm doing my best. When it comes to binding flame, I'm the guy who do the best. Oh god, I hate these porpulent orbs. I fucking despise them. Why do they do so little damage? Even when the fire is active, it don't matter. I can do it. I just gotta play it really fucking safe here and thinky. Game make me thinky. I hate that shit. And I died while I was using my buff. Okay, cool. Once you leave the cutscenes, the slog sets in. It really is slogging. Why can the swamp bugs take so much damage? See, that's what I'm saying! These are swamp bugs! Why do they have so much fucking health? I just gotta try to, like, corner them, take them out one at a time. If I had, like, a better AoE... Oh my god, and they do so much damage, too. They take a quarter... Oh, like, a third of your health bar just from one bug hit. Oh, she died, but it's fine. Now I just gotta get this dude who just keeps on spewing no matter what. Oh, but he can't hit me from here. There, are you awake now? Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up, Celine, please. What if his souls like ran on the Oblivion engine? What a fucking, what a fucking maneuver. What if, what if, what if Oblivion, Oblivion souls was real? No, Oblivion souls can't hurt you. Oblivion souls isn't real. It is real. I'm sorry. It's bound by flame. What's more akin to Oblivion souls? Is it bound by flame or is it two worlds? I still remember buying two worlds as a kid because on the back of the box art, uh, there was a, there was like a game journalist quote. I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. And the game journalist quote said, Dude, Two Worlds is like Oblivion on steroids. And then I got it and I was like, this fucking sucks. Right, and a guy at work called me a dweeb because I collect records and he said he's going to push me in a locker. What do I do? I don't know, accept the locker. If I was in your position, I'd simply accept the locker. Oh, they got crazy swamp creatures over here again. I don't know if I want to deal with them. I ain't got to deal with them, so I'm not going to deal with them. This is all extra. Never mind, I have to deal with them. We entered the combat encounter. I didn't mean to. Oh, this arena really fucking blows. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them come over here and then deal with the I don't know Grungo shit orb later. Celine's got this. I believe in Celine. I believe. Oh my god, I swapped over and then it automatically swapped back to the other enemy, meaning that I got hit by the enemy in the back. Okay, not climbing down there, not engaging in that one. Fuck that combat encounter. People have modded Skyrim to play more like a Souls like. The, the animations really feel like this. Well, yeah, because uh, they're not they're not tuned. They're mods. Oh my god, is that guy? What my power be about? Who this guy be? Is that Buffalo? Buffalo, baby! Oh no, that's not Buffalo. Is that just a random guy? <laughs> he looks just like Buffalo. Oh my fucking god, I hate this. I hate these bugs. Oh my, I'm dead again. I'm, I'm gonna die. It's gonna happen. I'm not. Lock on to the fucking. <laughs> Lock onto the enemy in front of you, please, Chungo. Please, Chumbo. Please, God, please, R rest in pieces. Why the lock on not work properly? Why, it, you know, I'm asking myself that while I'm playing Bound by Flame. Do I have to fucking ask? Who the fuck this dude? 
Need a one guard. Randval. No, God, why is he talking like this? Uh, Because he's Randval. Randval talks like that. Don't you like him? Famous Bound by Flame character Randval? You know how this game could win me over, actually? Like, almost immediately, if I walk into the village and there's a fishing minigame, this game would win me over immediately. That is legitimately how you get a sloppy game over with me. Like, that's how you get me like, oh, fuck, I love this game. Any kind of fishing minigame, you put it in there, done. Immediately sold. A million copies. That's what Bound by Flame really needed all along. We could have saved this fucking game if they'd done one goddamn thing, if they added a fishing minigame to the game. The one goddamn thing they needed. But don't you ever try to rip me off again unless you want to start peeing in a bag. How would they pee in a bag? They don't... Right. They, they don't have modern medical technology. What do you mean pee in a bag? Listen, this world may be a fantasy medieval world, but one thing they do have that our world also has, catheters. They have like advanced catheter technology here in the medieval ages. Is it the elves? Did the elves do it? Do the elves like that kind of thing? Are they into that? Is that what they want? Advanced medical technology, like bag piss, piss in a bag. What's your catheter story, Brendan? I don't have a catheter story. I have a piss jug story, but like not even a really a story. But I don't have like a catheter story. I mean, uh, back when I worked at Best Buy, um, one time a customer went to a bathroom and started like fucking shouting and like yelling. And so I was asked to investigate it. And I was bored, so I was like, sure. Uh, and he like walks out the second I get in there uh, and I go and check the like trash and there was a used catheter like self-use bag in the trash. That's like it. I mean, I guess somebody installed a catheter at the Best Buy I worked at. That's something. Brendan, what's your opinion on piss? Uh, glad that we do it. Gotta get all that dust out of your body. Brendan, what's your opinion on water? It's good for you. I should drink more of it. Be what's your... Uh, to, me and the boys use them wide cats. Great comment. Great. You know what? That's, that's worthy of it. Right? That's worthy of the fridge. Excellent comment right there. Excellent chat moment right there. You're going on the fridge. Me and the boys with them wide cats is now on the fridge. Eventually, we'll start covering up previous comments on the fridge. It okay, though. We love the fridge. Bro, I'm not shitting you. I came down here. I had a candle lit, right? And I'm, 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 I'm 100%, right? I had a candle lit. I come downstairs and I hear this horrible fucking popping sound. Uh, and I go and look at the candle and a spider had fallen into the candle and lit itself on fucking fire. Uh, a spider fell into the flame in my fucking office. It's a sign. <laughs> if, if people like this stream enough, I'll do a second stream. But only if you like it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow for more epic pranks. Yo, just put a demon in my body just for the hell of it. Follow for more epic pranks. Why is the, um, I love that the village hall is just a tavern. And like, it looks like the steward who's supposed to be, I think like the mayor is just the bartender too. Aren't you the guy dishing out the alcohol if you're the one behind the fucking bar? This guy hates drunkards, but will also sell to drunkards. Self-hating bartender real. Fine, I'll sell you wine, but don't come and complain to me when your wife leaves you, Jonathan. Vulcan, I'm gonna get the water bottle. Vulcan, I'm gonna spray you. Vulcan, I'll do it. I will spray you with the water bottle, Vulcan. I'm gonna get you with it. Vulcan, if you don't fucking stop right now. That's it, I'm getting the newspaper. <laughs> what if the demon made Vulcan just piss on the floor? Lore. Bad Vulcan, bad, bad, bad Vulcan, bad. What's the tastiest video game? The one that you could like be most likely to eat? Uh, probably a Nintendo 64 cartridge. I don't know. What would be the most edible video game? It'd have to be something with softer plastic. Uh, you know what? Anything on the Switch or the DS. I could probably eat a DS game. I'm not going to do it, but I probably could. What is this Nightmare Before Christmas song? Why do I feel like the skeleton man, Jack Skellington, is going to pop out and fucking grab me with his goddamn bony hand? I feel like Oogie Boogie's going to come out and Oogie Boogie boggle me. What game console could you eat, Brendan? Uh, Game Boy Micro. <laughs> I, could eat a, I could eat a Game Boy Micro. It's got Micro in the name. I'm not gonna. But like, I probably could. I'd be, I'd have a horrible time of it. Psh, I could eat an Ouya. I mean, what else are you going to do with an Ouya? Aside from like, eat it, really. Like, what, what is the point and parcel of an Ouya aside from consuming it? There's a man outside the village walls. His name is Mr. Beast. He, he gave a thousand of our villagers blindness and then cured a hundred more. Fantasy worlds with leather pants never make sense to me. If this is even a fantasy world, I can't tell. Why? 
Why don't leather pants make sense to you? They got like a tannery. They tan the hide. They make all kinds of leather out of all kinds of million of different beasts. Like you got so many different kind of beasts that you can make so many different kind of leather out of. Yeah, who are you? One of them fucking mercenaries, right? Oh, I hate this dude. Fucking mercenary, yeah. Sounds about right. Man, so many F-bombs. His mouth is barely moving, and when it does, it's moving so wacky. This man is moving around like a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. Hate this dude. Hate this dude. Hate this dude. Bren Brendan Riz, Bussin, Mid, and Simp are now in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Awesome. I saw, I think Kayfabe is also in there. Wrestling winning again. Tiny Tina Wonderland's looking fucked up today. It is really wild that I had no idea that this game had cell shading. I definitely thought it was like a slop, grimy game. But no fucking idea that it was cell shaded like this. I don't know. The word Riz, I'm sorry. Like, anytime anybody utilizes the word Riz, I want to, like, fight them. Like, I want... I, I don't think I've ever heard the word Riz used unironically. Triple Riz. Riz-tacular. Rizzing frenzy. Riz true. Rizamanjaro. I just looked at the Steam images and it tries to hide it. Oh, does it try to hide that it's fucking cell shaded? That'd be funny. Which state government did this game steal from? Oh, like Kingdoms, Kingdoms of Amalur. I still think, though, that Kingdoms of Amalur is one of the wildest fucking video game stories of all time, though. Especially since it, like, my... I, I, in college, my choir teacher on college fucking loved that game. He would talk about it all the time. He would recommend it all the- to anybody who played video games would be like, Dude, have you played it yet? Kingdoms of Amalur, man. Have you played it yet? It's so fucking sick. Gotta hate these bug. Why the bug gotta be as strong as they are? Oh, there goes my fucking mage. Hate the bug, though, dude. Hate the bug. Certified bug hater over here. You find me, you catch my ass in the bog, I'm gonna fucking despise it. I'd rather go back to fighting human-shaped enemies. I don't know, bug-shaped enemies just fucking make my brain hurty. The pitch meeting for this game was let's make an action RPG and then nobody had any ideas. There are far worse games though than Bound by Flame. Far worse video games than anything Spiders has ever made. At least Spiders has that like weird, uh, they tried to vibe to it, right? I, I always say this about Spiders games is one thing I respect about Spiders is like, and like focus in general, is yeah, a lot of them are really sloppy. Oh, what the fucking, what in the goddamn, what in the fuck, dude? <laughs> he suck with mouth, he barrel crab. You ain't never see a barrel crab in another game, I'm just saying. That shit's scary. Answer my question, boy. Brendan, does it piss you off or make you proud that if you go bald, you, you and your wife can go as Eustace and Muriel for Halloween? God. You know, that really does fill me up with idea, but we're already going as a, I mean, my wife is going as, like, sleepover Barbie. I'm going as, um, nothing. I- <laughs> I haven't bought anything for Halloween. I'm probably gonna go as, like, a manufacturer warranty Ken. Uh, no, you know what? Actually, product recall Ken. That's probably gonna be my outfit. I want more RP RPGs in different settings, like how Alpha Protocol is a spy RPG. I'd like, um... You know, if you took Dragon Age Inquisition, and you slimmed it down, like all of the ancillary bullshit combat, all of the ancillary fucking stupid exploration shit, all of the fucking fetch quests, all of the fucking... Go here and find five stones for me! I have five shields scattered around this large area. Will you go and find them for me? If you scaled down Inquisition, that game would be so fucking tight. That's that's one of those games that's, I feel like, one of the biggest wastes is Inquisition. If you scaled that shit down and made it a real RPG instead of, like, a single-player MMO, it'd be so fucking tight. That shit would be real wet and sloppy. I'd love it. Who the fuck are you? One second. Huh. Private Bumpkin. Did they really name a character Private Bumpkin? Why does Private Bumpkin have a My Chemical Romance haircut? What? I like walking, and I love Jenny. Jenny love helping me. She's so nice. Sometimes I run, and sometimes I walk. But all the time, any time I'm running, I always be thinking of Jenny. They really gave him the fucking Forrest Gump accent, huh? Don't you worry about me, none. If I see a swamp beast, I done pop that song, bitch. I'm making me bug bacon. You ain't never had it before. A two liter of Mountain Dew and a little bit of bug bacon. What do you think of the boss guard? General Sir, boss guard Mason, he is a good boss. Could you speak up a little bit? What does drinking like a chamber pot mean? 
My grandmammy and grandpappy used to make so much corn and squash and potatoes. Well, they got done killed by swamp bugs three years ago, and it ain't never been the same. I don't know how to fertilize like Pappy did. The life is like a box of vegetables, if you really think about it. When you open it up, you see vegetables, and you go, Oh, fuck, this shit sucks. <laughs> what in the goddamn woman? I'm terrified. Maybe not woman, just person? No. I see the boob window. Haunted boob ahead. Look at that scary creature trying to kick my ass. He's slobbering and slathering. All right, how much of this fight is going to be in cutscene? Oh shit. Oh, shit. Like Why did? What does that mean, Chumbo? You don't look like. You don't look much as a wear beast. Oh, he have a big health bar. Oh fuck, he have a big AOE attack. This guy's scary. Now is he going to have mobs? I wonder. Oh, okay, I gotta feed. I gotta be fucking avoiding them. God, you do no fucking damage to these guys whatsoever. They have such big health bars. They're such fucking chonkers. Posting this shit to Reddit right now. I think this guy can travel the whole arena to get me too. I'm just trying to stay away long enough to heal. You can attack me all you want, dude. I'm just trying to heal. Uh, if I stay out of combat, I get a little bit more health. So, popped ya. It was such a chip damage fight. It's so cool, dude. I gotta rescue the hot lady. Oh God. Oh fuck. I can take like one hit from this guy every time I come up on him. Oh, fuck me. I can take that one hit and then walk the fuck away. Ultimately perturbed. This guy really trying to get me, ain't he? He has so much health. Why? Spiders. And we're just rolling around. Nope. Not allowed, bitch. 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 This is riveting combat, by the way. Nope. Not allowed, bitch. Nope. Not allowed, bitch. Why do you keep doing the same attack over and over again? Is it because I'm behind him? Do you think that's the proc for it? Come on, boy! Yeah, boy! Come on, boy! Do your fucking underground attacks over and over again. Come on, I dare ya. I dare you to spam that shit again at me. Spam it! And he knocked me back. Yippers. Oh, and he can hit me while I'm on the ground, too. I don't have any iframes. Wild. Come on, do your big underground porpoise attack. There we go. I don't even have a sword. I have an axe. Why am I using a fucking sword? My immersion is fucking ruined. My immersion is destroyed. Enemy deployed, immersion destroyed. Yeah, sure, I'll let her out. It'll be funny. Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Hey, Brandon, what kind of weird shit are you playing today? This new, the Xbox Slop, or Xslop as I call it? This is uh, Bomb by Flame, released in 2014. I ran a, a channel redemption reward thing, the channel challenge or whatever, channel point challenge, and chat did it, so I'm playing it. Nah, this game is amazing. This game is like peak video game, not gonna lie. Don't you want to get bounced by flame too? Wouldn't you want to be bounced by flame? I'm sorry, I don't care if she evil, she got like the, she got like the, the, the titty tricorn? She got the titty tricorns, I trust her. War! God, I love the shivering red mass behind me. What would you do if the shivering red mass came to your house? I would say, hi. Me when the Magumbos be freezing, popping out the titty tricorns. Oh yeah, they got the ice lords. I don't know, they're the, the necromancers. I think, um, I think the narrative is a little Game of Thrones inspired. It's kind of like the LaCroix. It's like LaCroix to sparkling water, right? This is, uh, Bound by Flame is that to Game of Thrones. Like how LaCroix was sat next to a fruit stand to acquire its pungent taste. Uh, so too did the writer of this game watch one episode of Game of Thrones and look at one book and say, that's the story, we got this shit. She sounds like Counselor Troy. She does, don't she? I like the witch. We take the witch. You seem to take pleasure in exposing yourself. To trouble, I mean. Come on! You seem to take pleasure in uh, exposing yourself uh, to, to trouble. Huh, not a. <laughs> Boob. Well, you have a thing in your head? Baldur's Gate 3 caught red handed. There are so many video games where the prompt is basically. But what if you had a thing in your head? Cyberpunk, Baldur's Gate, Borderlands, fucking Cortana in your head and Halo. Uh, you know what? Actually, there are way too many video games where the, the basic prompt of the main character is, but what if you had a thing in your head? The more I think about it, the more wild this shit get. The Darkness is one, Jackie Estacado. God, the more and more I think of it, the, the more I realize so much video game writing can bo be boiled down to there's a thing in your head. It kind of fucked up. 
I mean, yeah, we do all have a thing in our head. I, I get that. Like, we all have a squishy, wet meat in our head. But, like, how many fucking video games? Ratatouille, Ratatouille. I gotta play the Ratatouille game at some point, don't I? I gotta play, I gotta go on a licensed game bench at some point here. We're, like, ramping up to it. And then I'm gonna, f I'm gonna finally bust out Shrek 3. And you're all gonna be fucking pleased about it. Oh, bye-bye, Sybil. I won't miss you. We got the witch on our team. I thought this game was supposed to be crusty and old. I mean, it's 2014. It is. 2014 was nine years ago. Somebody was born in 2014 playing Roblox today. They're sentient. I don't remember having things in my brain in Borderlands. Uh, don't you remember Angel? Borderlands 2. You literally have a pretty lady in your head calling you a stud muffin in Borderlands. This was on 360. Yeah, but it was also on PS4 and Xbone. Yeah, Borderlands 1 and 2. You got a thing in your head. There are a lot of video games where you have a lady in your head calling you a stud muffin. Or just a thing in your head. She wasn't in your head, that was a phone call. No, she was in your head. Like, she wasn't physically in your head, but she was in your head. They ain't got phone in Borderlands. They only got, what, the, the echoes. For they remain in one piece. There once was a man named Gold Roger. I'll hide my treasure. I left it all for you in one piece. Yo! Every time. Every fucking time. Brennan, do you have Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard? I played it. There's a highlight video on the second channel. I played the whole thing. Yeah, I played the Will Arnett game. Of course I did. Wow, Brennan, you're so fucking cool. If I was at a bar, I'd love for you to tell me about all the sludgy slop games that you love. Huh, dude. You ever play Area 51 with uh, David the Company in it? C kind of fucking crazy. They got the whole moon landing in there. <laughs> Fucked up. Real. And for a starter, where did this wee tart that's spilling out of a... <laughs> oh, he said it! Boob, 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 boob. Where's this wee tart that's spilling out her dress? <laughs> now that my husband brain ain't work, things are fucking epic. He shuts up now. He got the stench about he. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to him more. Talk to him. Hi. Oh, he got that pale Dark Souls NPC look to he. Oh, me husband, he's being quiet, finally. No more whinging and complaining. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. Fucking boob. He's not gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamp. Well, hmm. They really like bringing that up, huh? They really like saying that, don't they? They really like saying gorgeous sluts, ain't they? A couple of luxurious whores down here in the bog. Everybody in this village is so fucking rude to me. I don't know what I fucking did. Why you gotta be sitting? I mean, I did kill that one red scribe guy, but like, come on, I didn't really kill him. My witch friend did. But come on, dude. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm just trying to be bound by flame over here. Like, come on. You don't gotta be that fucking rude to me. I'm just trying to be the bound by flame guy. Well, she ain't much between the thighs. What in the fuck? She don't do nothing. Just sort of lets me. What? Ew. Great. That's fucking gross. Thanks. What is this game? What the fuck, Hugbert? This guy got bone armor like a Fortnite skin. I'm like freaking out about it. He seems even this more man looked like he belonged in the battle pass. All right, let me go follow the villagers. You can change the time of day. Thanks. Are they going to be in a, like a fairy circle trying to summon the big gnome? The largest gnome ever to exist? He brings me mushrooms. He makes me soup. He make a gnome stew. They just do this at night and none of the other villagers fucking know what's happening with it? They do this every night and nobody's questioning it? Why is all the villagers just like, nah, sex? Oh, good. Just killed themselves. Why? What you want? Ew, get off of me. They trying to summon the big gnome. The big gnome gives him immortality, but not even the right kind. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I'm losing it. I'm fucking losing it. Where'd they get the weapons from? What? This is like a Silent Hill bit. Thank goodness. Thank goodness it's like fucking people, though. I would rather it be fucking people than bug. I'm so sick of fighting bug. And see, that villager is just chilling over there. They haven't done this any other night. He's just hanging out. Did they just like activate today? Is that what happened? Somebody said the code phrase. Had to kill him, Mason. Sorry. What if they were just all high as fuck? What, they walk into the like the fucking scary bog mushroom and their brain is permanently parasited? Bro, found the craziest mushroom. It'll, 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 it'll literally take you out for a week. Puts you down in the ground where the mushroom fucking grow, down in the dirt. I ate five morale mushrooms and now I can't fucking think. 